Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Gaz. Actually, really Office Blokes, aren't oh, we? Yeah. Three wise men we've been described as yeah. um, multiple by, times by, by you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, and no he, one he's else. Got Frankie, no sense. <laughs> Go on, carry it on. Show off your wisdom. Don't know anymore. <laughs> Doesn't talk, just murmurs. Yeah, there you go. There you yeah. go. Now you're saying, Mike. There you go. Uh, yeah, we launched our gaming channel uh, last week and in May. At, you know, end of May. Then, end yeah. of May. So uh, mm. keep your eye out for that if that's not already happened. And uh, yeah, bit of fun so far. So the wisdoms of Al Bundy. What did we do the other day? Yeah, was it just funniest moments? Well, the funniest, yeah, funniest, funniest yeah. moments. Think, number yeah. 110 or yeah. something. It was, it? yeah. It's a bit in the comments saying, there's miles more funnier moments than this. This is, okay, well, there's no one. Let yeah, us yeah. Know. Don't, don't just say that and don't let us know one of the clips. Yeah. We can't do them all at once, can we? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Yeah. We'll work our way through. I have enjoyed the stuff we've done so far, though. That's yeah, for sure. It's definitely a funny, funny show. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's get into it then. The Wisdoms of Al Bundy. Let's do this. Man Among Men. What's that? It's an anniversary present for my wife. You're gonna get that? Yeah. How many years you've been married? One. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that explains it. See, you're obviously new to the married game. Let me help you out. See, the first thing I learned on my 16-year tour of duty was that <laughs> women live for presents. Now, you take the most ornery woman in the world. We'll call her Peggy. <laughs> now you bring a crappy present home like uh, that picture frame and your life will be a living hell <laughs> well, my wife and I agreed that we wouldn't spend too much on our anniversary we decided we save our money for more important things there is no more important thing than your anniversary see an anniversary is something special it's not like other holidays when other people are celebrating too it's just between the two of you. See, it's, it's a day when you can show how you feel the rest of the year, but you don't, because you're a man. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. To know me is to love me. <laughs> it was a little bit more profound than It was a bit that. deep, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what is it with you, Bundy? You still not getting enough curb in your diet? I mean... We knock you around, you come back. Why? Why do you do it? For the same reason men climb mountains or sail across the sea alone. For the only reason that a rational man would do an irrational thing like this. Pride. No, women. <laughs> I'm a moron, Ray Ray. <laughs> We're all morons. That's what comes from being a man. <laughs> From the first little worm they dare us to eat, to the last big shovel full of snow they convince us we can move, we are nothing more to women than an amusement park ride with life insurance. <laughs> Why else would we do the idiotic things that we do? For example, you ski? No. Well, you will someday if a girl wants you to. We all would. We'd hurtle down that mountain so fast that the crack of our bodies hitting the tree wouldn't even resonate in their ears before we'd pounce up and say, I'm okay. <laughs> they know we're not okay. Hell, even if they missed that pair of squirrels running away with our hacky sacks, <laughs> one glance down at the color of the snow would hint that there might be some trauma. <laughs> and we've all been to a weight room when a pretty girl walks by and said to ourselves, gee, I think I'll start today's warm-up bench press with, oh, nine tons. <laughs> So you see, Ray Ray, as long as there's women, there'll be men around doing stupid things to impress them. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. That's why they're here. Now, someday you may evolve beyond this, but uh, it's too late for me. <laughs> I'm too old, too married, and lost far too many hacky sacks. <laughs> either I split so you look cool in front of your girl or you look cool in front of yours and kill me yeah. 
Let's rock. <laughs> would never happen <laughs> i like it though is it actually i didn't expect proper wisdoms i thought it was just going to be sarky remarks I, uh, yeah so did i yeah the sarcasm and built in in there built in, in i there. think it's heavily yeah. involved there somewhere along the line isn't it if that guy with all his boys would have attacked him he's lost because he had to get his boys behind his back <clears throat> exactly so if it is on that metric of impressing your woman but you've got to get like six seven other guys behind you to fight go to jail now <clears throat> <laughs> no, that's true as well. I have been in court on a thousand trumped up charges. Some real, some imagined. The point is, I lost all of them. I don't know the law, nor do I really know how to pleasure a woman. <laughs> I have no interest in either. No. Let me ask you one important question. How did we become a great country? By kicking the heinies of anybody who threatened our borders. Yeah. And that's what I was doing. I was protecting my border. Yeah, right. If a man comes into my house, he better be carrying a summons or a pizza. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but this man wasn't, so I called in the Marines. And the 51st Airborne. Yeah. <laughs> so in conclusion, Your Honor, if you rule against me, you rule against every man who fought for his country. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The boys at San Juan Hill, the boys at Iwo Jima, Audie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, Murphy Brown, <laughs> brown and serve sausage, uh, the cheap brown shoes that every working man is proud to use, to kick the hiney of any man who invades his home. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know if he got away with it. <laughs> that was a compelling he argument. Must, he it? must have done surely after a speech like that. I think in, si in sitcom world he would have got away with it. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> now what reeks? is this facade that we call Labor Day. Honk if you hate Labor Day. <laughs> you know what else reeks? Families reek. Honk if you hate families. <laughs> <laughs> because they are truly the reason Labor Day reeks. Once a year, they're on these highways and byways. What do they say? We hate this. We hate you, idiot, moron. Buffoon daddy. <laughs> Buffoon daddy. But what about us? The ones who truly labor. We're on this stinking road every day, choking and wheezing, marching along like lemmings to a horrible screaming death. Who cries for us, Argentina? <laughs> <laughs> Not our families. Well, we can't expect that. The yoke on the oxen feels no guilt. <laughs> But what we can expect is that on our one lousy, stinking day off, traffic can move us to our lousy, stinking, pathetic destinations. <laughs> our polluted beaches, our burning forests, our <laughs> wheezing grandmas, to our family barbecues with Uncle Otto and his runny eye. <laughs> but does the highway department prepare for us? Are they out here helping us? Are they out there in front of us by that first damn car that caused this traffic jam saying, step on the gas, you moron! Let the 20 million people pass! They are not. Why? Because they don't care. And that, my friends, is what really reeks. So let's face it, we're not moving. We're just lining up to die. But let's show them <laughs> that the American spirit is not dead. So join me, will you, on this, our Labor Day, and get out of your cars and tear this highway to bits. Go in 
your trunks. Get your tire irons and your road flares. Burn, baby, burn. Vengeance is ours. <laughs> Fully just incited a riot, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, <bit>, yeah. <laughs> is he a comedian, the actor? I don't think so. I've never seen him do stand-up. No, me neither. I feel like he should have been, or mm. should be. Well, it depends if you... I know it's good writing. Yeah. yeah, I know yeah, yeah. It's not necessarily his, but it's, it's his delivery. It's you know being stood there like that. Yeah, I've seen, him, I've seen him in a few other things, mm. and he's one of them people that whenever you see him in something else, you can't help think of Al Bundy. Yeah, yeah. it's just ingrained in him, he's, isn't yeah. it? But uh, yeah. he's an absolutely perfect part for him, though. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Beer and taxes. Yeah. <laughs> Like to just take Kids on this. Right. Give up. We did. No, we can't quit. Are you saying we should try again next year? No. Tell you the truth, I'm never voting again. <laughs> like marriage, no matter who you choose, it turns out bad. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're rich. They get everything they want. Well, fine. Let them have their birds and their air and their, even their presidents. But we cared about beer. And they took it away from us. Hey, yeah, sure, what do they care if a man who sells shoes or fixes cars or totes that barge or spears that duty in the park has to use his whole paycheck to buy one beer? <laughs> what do they care? They're at their outdoor restaurants eating their little pizzas and <laughs> drinking some fine wine at a no-smoking section with their sexy, skinny second wives. But we're breeding with peasant stock. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Peg. <laughs> One thing I know, we're never going to win through the system. Voting has never been the American way. We didn't get away from that pansy country England by voting. <laughs> we did it by throwing their stinking tea in our American harbor. Yeah! And why? Because Americans don't like tea. <laughs> we like coffee. And Americans don't like wine. We like beer. Yeah. Ice cold. Ice cold, best in a bottle, but fine any way you can get it. Belch and burp and wake up in a pool of a beer. <laughs> so let's show them how a beer man votes. Let's get blitzed and take it to the streets. Let's strike a blow anywhere they dine al fresco. <laughs> anywhere they eat brie cheese. And anywhere they wear their pants up high around their waist in the European way. <laughs> the only thing that Americans understand is mindless Tom and Jerry cartoon-like violence. <laughs> so let's go kick some elite butt. <laughs> give me beer or give me death. <laughs> Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pillage. <laughs> Legend. No, just a bit. <clears throat> Disagree with him slightly on the little point, his little dig at the English people. Hey, well, well yeah, true. we can take it. He seems like he likes everyone, so why would he pick on us? <laughs> <laughs> but our point here is we know where real violence comes from, and it's not from that magic box I like to call TV. <laughs> oh, sure, the tube can be blamed for a lot of things. Brent Musburger. <laughs> Full House. <laughs> Any show where overweight female cops dress up as hookers. <laughs> but violence? That's too easy. We've all been brought up on Roadrunner cartoons and the Three Stooges. But how many of us have run a saw across a bald guy's head? <laughs> how many of us have drawn a tunnel on the side of a mountain only to watch our loved ones smash themselves into it. <laughs> and you know why? Because we had parents, ladies and gentlemen. Parents who said, don't do what TV tells you to do. Do what we tell you to do, or it's five across the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I say if there's a problem with TV today, it's because parents aren't saying that anymore. Take my kids, please. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the joke, Jefferson. <laughs> Kennedy's on the floor. <laughs> Kennedy's always on the floor. 
Anyway, my kids may not be angels, but when they screw up, I don't blame TV. I put the blame squarely where it belongs. On their mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and rap music. And rap music. I like rap music. No. No. I'm talking to the Senate. <laughs> so in conclusion, I'd like to say the next time you want to find the source of violence, try looking on the other side of the screen. Thank you. And God save the queen. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. A lot of logic yeah, in there some, as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a lot. Actually, yeah, a lot. Some good speeches there. Yeah, it's the working Excellent. class guy's approach to it. Yeah, definitely. I didn't expect there to be so many wisdoms in there. I know the video was called The Wisdom of Albon. Yeah. But like I said, I thought it was just going to be Saki remarks and him mm. just you know, know, shitting on his wife. He probably <laughs> did one of those every episode, but it's such a long time since I've seen a full episode. It's years and years yeah. ago. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Someone said you can watch it on, is it Hulu? Hulu. Hulu, yeah, right. is it? Yeah. Who's got Hulu? I don't know. I think you'd have to... Uh, I don't like, uh, think I've ever... I'm not sure if, if that channel exists over here. It, I think it does. Oh, it's a streaming it? service. Oh, it's sorry, streaming. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Oh, would yeah. you get that online or something then? Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Right, okay. Let's have a look. Yeah. But yeah, funny. Always funny, that. It is mm. brilliant. Like I say, one Great of the best program. TV shows that was ever on. I think it probably was. Yeah. Just just the bits we're doing here. And it's like... It seems like it's the pinnacle of that yeah. sort of uh, working man sitcom. Yep. Miserable bastard with a hot <laughs> wife. <laughs> yeah. 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 He just plays it so well as he well does. for me. No, yeah. He's he absolutely does. made for it. Brilliant. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.